So how do we create a Python port scanner? Well, if you're looking for a beginner cybersecurity project, cybersecurity to be exact, this is a pretty much perfect start. So first things first, you're gonna need somewhere to write your code. I like Visual Studio Code, it's what I use all day at work and I would recommend it. You're then gonna need to download Python. I'm not gonna waste your time with how to install Python. There's a million videos better explaining how to do it than I could. You're then gonna need Bash if you're using Windows. If you're on a MacBook or Linux, you should have Bash already built in. Finally, you're gonna to need to download and install Nmap, but I'll show you how to import it into your Python script once you've downloaded it. So really quickly, we are gonna to need to create a new Python file. So open Visual Studio Code and click new file. It's then gonna ask you what type of file that you want to create once you've opened a new file and we can just hit Python file and that automatically saves it as a .py straight away. But we'll come over to here, we'll save it anyway and we'll call it python-nmap.py. We then wanna right click, open integrated terminal and get rid of PowerShell, hit the plus sign and we wanna start a bash terminal. So now we need to create the script. I've got the whole thing here instead of watching me painfully type it out line by line. So I'm gonna paste it down below if you wanna copy and paste it and then we're now gonna explain it section by section. So line one, we've got import nmap. The import statement in Python, it's basically used to import modules or libraries, which are sort of like bigger collections of code and they can provide additional functionality to our script that we're writing. Moving on to line three, we want to create an instance of the nmap.portscanner class. We can then assign it to the variable nm so we can call it later on in the script. And this is how we interact with that nmap library with this class. We then need to create two more variables on line five and six, one called target and one called options. Options is basically how we want to use nmap. So in this case, we want to use the SV and the SC switches and SV is gonna give us version information about the services that it's found on those ports. And SC basically just means I want to run a standard nmap script, nothing fancy. So next we've got the target and you've noticed that I've already got an IP address in there. So that IP address is actually the nmap website that they've set up for you to be able to scan to practice using nmap. Remember, if you are gonna use nmap, it's active reconnaissance and you do need permissions off the website owner before you scan their domain. Moving on to line eight, we've got nm.scan parentheses target arguments equals options. So this line of code is calling the scan method on an instance of the nmap.portscanner class. So the scan method is basically used to perform the network scan using nmap. And you can see that the scan method takes two arguments, the target IP, which we set earlier, and arguments, which we've made equal to options, which we've already defined as a string that we want to use SV and SC. So finally, from lines 10 to 17, we have this big chunky bit of code. And it's basically just a nested loop structure. So it's gonna iterate through the results of the nmap scan. It's then gonna print information about each host protocol and port that was discovered. So there's two kind of loops going on here and I'll explain both. So starting with line 10, we've got four hosts in nm.allhosts parentheses. So this is what we refer to as the outer loop. This outer loop is going to iterate through the list of hosts returned by the all underscore host method of the nmap.portscanner instance. So moving on to line 13, this is what's called the inner loop. So for protocol in nm hosts all protocols. It's going to iterate through the list of protocols used by that individual hosts and this all underscore protocols method returns a list of protocols basically TCP, UDP, that were discovered during the host scan. We can then move on to line 16, and this is the innermost loop. So for port state, import info dot items. This is gonna iterate through the list of ports and their states for the current protocol. So we're using the items method here. So let's go ahead and run that script. So we've got a bash terminal here and we do Python and then the name of the script, which is Python, hyphen nmap.py. Now I'm gonna cut out a little bit here because it does take a while. And we can see that it's returned a list of open ports with services running on those ports with information about the version of those services and the protocol used. So we can take that information, copy and paste it into another text editor just because it's a bit easier to examine, not in the terminal. And we can go through it and start to do our proper active reconnaissance at this stage. For this video, if you enjoyed it or found it at all interesting, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.